because I have a proven <laughs> record of conservative <laughs> leadership where I cut Shadow taxes. Cover. $19 billion over well, a year. Just like Trump said uh, in the last debate, which Great I thought was the, climate climate was the best part of the debate, that he pays these guys and he picks up the phone at 3 in the morning they answer and do whatever he wants them to do. People right. know yeah. that we yeah. need principle-centered leadership. But, a yeah, he knows he's a puppet because he's run puppets like that. He's been on the other side of it. He wants to cut out the middleman. He wants to be at the top of this. But look at the kinds of questions that they're asking. Are they asking them? I would like to see them, if they want to play gotcha questions, ask them to describe one of the Bill of Rights besides the first and the second. Mm. And just don't have to quote it, just tell us what it's about. Do you know right. anything at all about the Constitution? Do you know anything about our rights that it was set up to protect? I would have got this. No way, Ben. Well, their whole purpose with this was no, to start a fight, get yeah. them fighting amongst themselves. That's spread precisely surfaces. what they said. Everyone likes to watch the wrestlers in yes. the ring. But I'm not only referring to him. I, a lot of money. That's why they asked these personal questions. People that are mm -hmm. standing up here, and the donors, the special interests, the lobbyists have very strong power over these people. I'm spending all of my money. Mm, I'm not know. spending. I'm not getting any. I turned down. I, I turned down so much. I could have right now from special interests and donors. I could have double and triple what he's got. I've turned it down. I've turned down. What's he going to get when he goes, becomes president? Right. We've got so I will tell you, people like Bill and Hillary Clinton who became multi, multi millionaires and they had no money at all. You take somebody like Donald Trump, why is he going in it? It's not because of altruism, folks. It's not because there's some deeply held principles that he understands. Right. He's flip flopped so many times. So, what does that mean? Make America great again. Mm. For who? It's great for him. I'm going to do the right thing. Nobody has control of him. And you know what? There will be no legal controlling authority either if he becomes well, president, just like there aren't with these guys. Go to your wedding That's because true. you gave her That's money. True. Maybe it works for Hillary Clinton. I was, it doesn't me, work Jeff. for anybody on, this, on this stage. I was a this, businessman. I got yeah, along right. with Clinton. I got along with everybody. Yeah. That was my job, to get along with people. But the simple I didn't fact wanna, is... Excuse me. One second. No. I the didn't want to... Yeah, I want you to come to my wedding. More energy tonight. I like that. Your first child be a masculine child. It was my obligation. He's running for godfather, not president. As a businessman, to my family, to my company, <coughs> to my employees, to get along with all politicians. I got along with all of them, and I did a damn good job in doing it. Go ahead. So, he supports Pelosi. He supports Schumer. He supports Clinton. Got along when with he supports your brother. When he, when, he right. asked, yeah. when he asked Florida to have casino gambling, we said no. Wrong. We said no, and that's the simple fact. The don't, simple don't fact make things is, up, Jeb. Don't, don't make cut me up. off. Come sir. on, don't make things Jake, up. Can I say something about that? Now, who was the <laughs> other <laughs> casino that Sheldon Adelson? Right, yeah. that was against the, uh, yeah. the yeah. legalized uh, marijuana there when the majority yeah, of right, Floridians were voting for it. Right. With the money. And he's got Lindsey Graham Adelson fighting Adelson. online gambling because he doesn't want the competition for his casino. That's the way these guys operate. They own these politicians. They are puppets. He knows it. To get in the bed with special interest groups or lick the boots of billionaires. I have said to the people, if they want me to do this, please get involved. And we now have over 500,000 donations, and the money is coming in. But the pundits forgot about one thing, and that is the people, and they are really in charge. Thank you, Dr. Carson. Let's move to Russia, if we could. <laughs> Russia is sending troops and tanks into Syria right now to prop up a U.S. enemy, Bashar al-Assad. Wait, President we already Obama are there. We announced right. today that we got boots We've on the ground. We created up. this. <laughs> now they're going to pretend that we've got to respond to something that we created. Mm -hmm. Mr. Trump, you say you can do business with yeah. President Vladimir Putin. You yeah. say you will get along, quote, very well. What would you do? right now, if you were president, to get the Russians out of Syria? All right, so number one, they have to respect you. He has absolutely no respect out of for Syria. President Obama. Zero. Syria is a mess. You look at what's going on with ISIS in there. Now think of this. We're fighting ISIS. ISIS wants to fight Syria. Why are we fighting ISIS in Syria? Let them fight each other and pick up the remnants. I would talk we created to him. ISIS. I would get along with him. Read the I memo. Believe, and I may Read be the wrong, press. In which case Read the I'd mainstream have media reports. Different path, but I would get along with a lot of the world leaders that this country is not getting along with. We don't get along with China. We don't get along with the heads of Mexico. We don't get along with anybody. And yet at the same time, they rip us left and right. They take advantage of us economically in every other way. We get along with nobody. I will get along, I think, with Putin. And I will get along with others. And we will have a much more stable, stable world. Oh.
So you, does anybody you plan to stop funding these answer, groups that we send our own troops to would, fight? This is not a hostile takeover of Syria well, by ISIS. We did it. We will do between that, Ukraine, all of the other problems. We won't have the kind of problems that our country has right now with Russia and many other nations. Senator Rubio, you know, you've taken a very different approach to the, the question of Russia. You've called Vladimir Putin a, quote, gangster. Why would President Rubio's approach be more effective than President Trump's? Well, first of all, I have an understanding of exactly what it is Russia and Putin are doing, and it's pretty straightforward. He wants to reposition Russia once again as a geopolitical force. He himself said that the destruction of the Soviet Union, the fall of the Soviet <coughs> Union, was the greatest geopolitical catastrophe of the 20th century. And now he's trying to reverse that. He's trying to destroy NATO. And this is what this is a part of. NATO he is exploiting has the vacuum that this administration overthrown the, Middle East. the Ukraine, in the next positioning case, troops the there, doing the same thing in Syria, putting troops region, there. We ISIS. are the ones who are the aggressors in this. And that we've woken up a sleeping bear. Putin is very dangerous, but we have created these ISIS terrorists that we've created are very dangerous. But we are the ones creating this. They ignore that. Right as the single most important power broker in the Middle East. And this president is allowing it. That is what is happening in the Middle East. That's what's happening with Russia. Thank and every you, Senator I want to bring in um, Carly okay. Fiorina. Having... Ms. Fiorina. Having met, met Vladimir yeah, Putin, met Vladimir if Putin. I may, having yes. met Vladimir Putin, I wouldn't talk to him at all. We've talked way too much to him. What I would do immediately is begin rebuilding the Sixth Fleet. I would begin rebuilding the missile defense program in Poland. I would yeah, conduct regular aggressive military exercises this, in the but... Baltic states. I'd probably send a few thousand more troops into Germany. Vladimir Putin would get the message. By the way, the reason it is so critically important that every one of us know General Soleimani's name is because Russia is in Syria right now because the head of the Quds Force traveled to Russia and talked Vladimir Putin into aligning themselves with Iran and Syria to prop up Bashar al-Assad. Maybe Carly Russia doesn't read the Drudge actor, Report. McClatchy DC just announced today a long article talking about how the US recruited Chechen terrorists who were fighting the Russians, recruited them for Syria, put them in. Three years ago, this particular guy was telling us what happened three years ago. We've got the military announcing through NBC, their proxy, that they have US boots on the ground in Syria. We are the ones who are far ahead of the Russians in terms of escalating this already. We don't need to escalate it more. This lady and the rest of these people are a bunch of psych psychopaths. Thank you, Ms. Fiorina. This is like watching Dr. Strangelove unfold. Like I even got the airplane back there. Which one of them is gonna jump on a bomb and go to the, to the uh, What's oh, none saying? of them. Yeah. Yeah, it's because uh, they're writing right. the bomb to nuclear war. Bong, That's what they need to recreate with this backdrop of this plane here. To rip up the Iran deal on day one, as you have promised to do, is, quote, inexperienced and, quote, playing to a crowd. Respond to Governor Kasich, please. Well, let me tell you, Jake, the single biggest national security threat facing America right now is the threat of a nuclear Iran. We've seen six and a half years of President Obama Leading from Single behind. biggest threat to Americans Weakness is the American is government. Quite frankly, these people are dangerous beyond belief. It is unbelievable. We're not going to get any re relief from the Democrats either. Joe, do you have anything on the uh, Twitter feed? Any questions from people? I don't know. Is Joe still over there? Maybe not. Okay. Yeah, I mean, where are they going to be when World War Three is launched? Are yeah, they they'll be, be in the nuclear bunker. In yeah, New Zealand right. or Australia, you know. Slim Pickens, that's the guy's name I was trying to think of. Which one of them is going to do Slim Pickens? I would, I would nominate Lindsey Graham to reenact Slim Pickens <laughs> uh, riding the nuclear bomb down to uh, no. set off the nuclear Until he realizes again. it's going to take him too. Yeah. At least Pickens wrote it all the way yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they could recreate that with that nice plane back there, you know, that's the. <laughs> the United States and take away our sovereignty. Well, I spent five and a half years as the Solicitor General of Texas, the lead lawyer for the state in front of the What about US our sovereignty as, as individuals? What about our individual rights? You know, none of these people even have a problem with any of this, except for Rand Paul. He's the only one who's talked about civil asset forfeiture. These are Republicans who are supposed to support property rights. How do they support a war on drugs for decades that has taken people's property without finding them guilty, without even charging them with a crime? Mm. They have none of these guys except Rand Paul has a problem with that. He's the only one who's concerned about that. He's also the only one who's talked about mandatory minimums in the drug war, which Ronald Reagan gave us. They're here in the Reagan right. library here. Let's talk they about the sort of legacy of Reagan. Mandatory minimums, the war on drugs that has failed for 40 years. This is 
world today is that we don't have the relationship with our allies. If we want to go everywhere alone, we will not have the strength as if we can rebuild our relationships with our allies. Now, this agreement, we don't know what's going to happen in 18 months. I served on the Defense Committee for And folks, you're watching, this years. is 28 hours of live broadcast from InfoWars. This is our 2015 money bomb. And that number, if you want to call in and help us to uh, support this operation, that number is 888-253-3139. And we're looking for a goal of a million dollars to reach 400 million people. Because you can see from what we see from these politicians and from the media, the kind of questions that they ask them, you can see how starved the American people are for real information about what's really going on. We need to open up this dialogue. We need to have a free market in ideas instead of a controlled news source like this. Here's Rand Paul. Let's see what they have to say. Should cancel the state dinner because of China's currency manipulation and because of China's alleged cyber attacks against the United States. Is Governor Walker right? I think this goes back to essentially what we've been saying for the last two or three questions. Carly Fiorina also said, we're not going to talk with Putin. Well, think if Reagan had said that during the Cold War. We continued to talk with the Russians throughout the Cold War, which is much more significant than where we are now. Should we continue to talk with Iran? Yes. Should we cut up the agreement immediately? That's absurd. Wouldn't you want to know if they've complied? Now, I'm going to vote against the agreement because I don't think there's significant yeah, leverage. Yeah, everybody. But it doesn't yeah. mean that I would immediately like, not she wants to show look at the that agreement and just because she's a woman in there, she's Iran still willing to go to war. The same goes with prove China. that to all. Everyone think that thinks a woman can't handle it. I don't think we need to be. You know, it's interesting, a line uh, towards this Iran thing. Whether you agree with the agreement or not that Obama has made, Justin Amash pointed out it's a treaty. We need to stop allowing uh, treaties to be passed, whether it's the Trans-Pacific Partnership, Transatlantic Partnership, or this Iran Agreement. These are all treaties. We need to call treaties treaties. We need to follow constitutional processes to do this. That's job number one. Senator Paul seemed to suggest that canceling the state dinner would be rash and reckless. No, two, two now they're talking about canceling the state dinner. Second, I wish they would talk about issues. China, why would this is all about personalities and politics. A country that's been involved in a massive cyber attack against the United States. That's that's not just a visit. That's a 21-gun. Well, the United, United States put line. all of our vital information on the internet. That was one of the big concerns back with Clinton when he put the. I believe it was uh, Clinton who put. Uh, some of our nuclear facilities yeah. gave them uh, internet capabilities. But to give somebody the ability to hack in and do what they want to do. Well, he's upset about the cyber attack that China enacted on federal employees. What about the cyber attacks that the NSA has been enacting on us openly since 9 11, mm -hmm. but covertly since their creation by executive order by President Truman? That was exposed in the Pike and Church Committee hearings, and nothing is being done by that. And then they did it blatantly before everybody. We all know what they're doing. He has no problem with that whatsoever. He would do more of it. Canceling the state dinner. No, I don't think so. I keep talking about the dinners. state dinner. What does this have state to do with anything? Yeah. Tactics as it really Let's is. give China a steak dinner. I don't care. I mean, you know. <laughs> Obama's rolling out the red carpet for them. Meanwhile, they've yeah. hacked into us. The state dinner, steak dinner. Who cares? Let's talk about what you're going, <laughs> what you're doing to Americans. I mean, this is always the us versus them. The Auslander, China. Let's be afraid of China. They're going to pass a Trans-Pacific Partnership by trying to scare people about China. But of course, then they can add China to the agreement without any further involvement of the anyone in the American government after that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it is the energy, not the nuclear, when I was talking about Clinton. I just Israel yeah. off my head. There we go. It's going to create a healthier deterrent effect than anything else I can think of. I want to turn to I want to new arms race. That's right. It's been very patient. Somebody had to be 11th, and he is. But I do want to change the subject to the event that you had a meeting. I would at. certainly love to get in on this. Well, you, can, you, can, use, well, no, you can use your minute however you I, want, I've but I want to ask this question. Waiting, and I'm going to just Let say this. Huckabee's is running for prime minister of Israel, quite frankly. Even on his website, he's got notes from Netanyahu. And this guy is the biggest Zionist you can imagine. Just a little conflict with a Middle Eastern country that we've just now given over $100 billion to. The equivalent in U.S. terms is $5 trillion. This threatens Israel immediately. Okay, good. This threatens the entire Middle East, but it threatens the We're going to have, uh, did they hear that? Did the audience hear what you just told me, or was that just in my ear, Joe? Nuclear Iranian. Okay, Joe just told me that uh, uh, Joe Biggs is going to open up the Twitter account for people to uh, join in with a discussion about what's going on here. So if you want to have a say-so uh, about what you see here, you want to comment on what you see, have questions about what you see, uh, 
You can do that at hashtag MoneyBomb2015. That's the hashtag that you can get to, right? And Joe Biggs will be there monitoring it. Disagreement that the president treats like the Magna Carta, right. but the Iranians treat it like it's toilet paper. And we must simply make it very clear that the next president, one of us on this stage, will absolutely not honor that agreement and will destroy it. Yeah, he's talking about this Iran agreement, and he says that Iran...